television is a massive, massive, uh, mass hypnotist to the global mind. Mm. And what happens is, it is implanting a belief in reality by the minute, and then once we take on that belief, implanted, when information enters the eyes, we edit it on the basis of that belief. And so um, what the global population is um, subjecting, uh, or is subjected to, suffering from, is actually, literally, mass hypnosis. And when people, when we talk about people who kind of start to see things and see the manipulation they couldn't see before, what do we say about them? What do they say about themselves? They say, I woke up. Exactly what they've done. When people start to go, hey, I can see it now, it's like someone has gone along, like the, the hypnotist, and clipped their fingers, and it's like, oh, I can see it now. Mass hypnosis, and that is the greatest hypnotist on the planet, and that's the basis of why it was created. Experiments have shown that um, about one and a half seconds before um, the conscious mind decides to take action, move its arms or whatever, speak, one and a half seconds before it consciously decides to do that, the electrical signals have begun in the brain to do it. Um, for me, the conscious level is the experiencer and observer of reality, but the subconscious is the creator of it, the generator of it, and this is why the Illuminati want the subconscious mind through subliminals. What does subliminal mean? It means below threshold. It's below the threshold the conscious mind picks up, but the, the subconscious mind picks everything up like a sponge and therefore they are planting these thoughts into the subconscious which then filter down into the conscious and we think we're having our own thoughts when actually they're implanted thoughts done at a subliminal level. Nicki Minaj is also a part of pushing the LGBTQ community, even though every time we seen her, she was in a heterosexual relationship, right? She turned all these little kids out, told them to be bobs, and a bunch of, she may had uh, influenced a bunch of young girls to be lesbians. Even people in my family that I, I know that were big fans of hers. I have young people in my family that are now lesbians uh, because of the influence of Nicki Minaj. Just, and they, they dated street niggas to, to wind up be ra being able to, being have to having to raise kids on their own because Baby daddies then got shot, killed, went to jail, hustling, this, that, and other, because they felt like they needed a soldier. You know what I'm saying? That was the influence that Beyonce was giving off. But Nicki Minaj influence was she pushed the whole gay agenda. She pushed this whole agenda. She told the little boys to be bobs and everything. Now, I'ma say allegedly, but I believe Nicki Minaj got down with the the, the gay boule or the evil empire, whatever whatever one or both. Yeah, I would think both, you know what I'm saying? And the part of the agenda is to reason why, in my opinion, because the government allegedly feels the world is overpopulated. You know what I'm saying? So it's like pop, 
population control is what they trying to do. And the more people that's with the same sex slows down the, the, the population of, of the uh, the community, of the world, actually. And if you doubt what I'm saying, you could go and check the birth rate of this year and then go back 10 years, then go back 20 years, then go back another. Do you enjoy eating vagina? No, I really don't. I really don't like eating vaginas. That's how I know I'm not gay. Like, I let a girl eat mine, though. It feels safe, it don't matter who's doing it. It huh? don't matter if, your picture, if you the picture or the catcher. Do you know that, right? Yes, it does matter, bro. What you mean? What? Yes, it does. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Hmm. If your nigga came home from jail after doing these four years, right? <laughs> it was like, it was like, I ain't suck no dicks in there, but I got my dick sucked. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, yo, fuck that. That's too much. <laughs> no, you, no, it, no. Wait, hold on. You said it don't matter if you the picture or the camera. Oh, come on, yo. You know it's different for niggas. You know it's different for niggas. So like, if, so if your man came home and said, I ain't touch no niggas, but I got my dick sucked. No, fuck out of here. That's not the same. You know it's not the same. You just try to prove a point. Come on, man. Girl on girl action is different from male male on male action. Nicki Minaj And if you wanna menage Keep a couple pretty rough Boy, bring that ass here, boy. Boy, Drake, bring that ass back here again, boy. Boy, Pharrell, bring that ass here, boy. Bring that ass back here again, boy. How you feel about six nine snitching? That surprise you at all? No. When he came to my city, right? Yeah. And did that lame ass shit he did in O Block, right? O Block. I knew he was a fucking lame, and I was in New York for that. And that was all it, like niggas. I used to. I was bugging up with niggas like all in fucking um a uh, 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 AQ projects and shit. I was bugging up with some of the Crips over there and shit, cause niggas was making it some Chicago versus New York shit. Bro, I've been in New York air better 20 times. Mm -hmm. Every time I go, I'm out there for three, four weeks. I'm in the trenches with it. 
mm-hmm. in hoods, like in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, Queens, Harlem, Manhattan. I'm in all the bureaus, bro. Like everybody in New York was co signing. Yeah, that they shit. was co signing <laughs> and this next night shit. And I would use the, it, tweak me out because, bro, I literally watched all of these niggas like bash him like these same niggas bro they was not behind six nine a lot of a lot of niggas from new york knew six nine was a cornball for real right like you know that's just like a nigga get on from chicago and and oh, oh yeah to the outside we'll let him think he this guy but the new yorkers know he's a fucking he was a project mm. something that was made up right you know what i'm saying and by them by them, by them same niggas he snitched on yep. you know what i'm saying they made him then on top of that come to find out the person that's that he that owns his management group or something like that is our mayor's brother. Right. So he got all type of police f- tra- riding around with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's mean. He's a big fella. But it doesn't mean he's gay. It means he sucked dick twice. Okay. But it doesn't mean he's gay. It means he sucked dick twice. Okay. But it doesn't mean he's gay. It means he sucked dick twice. Okay. Where's it could have interpreted this video instead of him looking like a damn fool, humiliating himself? I mean, y'all out, y'all drinking. It's All Star Weekend. You having a good time. This when the shit come out. I'm showing you how it come out. You get mad at her. You like, you know what, Keisha? I can't stand when you come out. You get drunk. You fuck her tonight. She like, whatever. Dying. At least I don't eat ass. You like what? You be like what? Eat ass. Oh, you don't eat ass. He don't eat ass. Hold up. Whoa. You you told him I eat ass. I don't even know where it came from. I guess you did an interview and, and you said you would eat the booty. Yeah, I mean, I'm so glad you asked me this, Phil. And now, now Charlemagne. Oh, I'm so glad you asked me this, Phil. Now, Charlemagne, you know, he's a, a big advocate of eating booty. Hey. I eat the dogs, I don't see the problem in. Hey. I mean, I, mean, I, eat, hey. I eat my wife. I see nothing. What's the problem? Okay. Hey. But. I've been hey. my woman for but, 16 years. Can, can I expound? Yeah, you, if you can expound. <laughs> can I expound? There's not so much expounded about eating booty, but hey. Yeah, but check this out. Mm-hmm. Check this out. So many men mm-hmm. were speaking about it. <laughs> they got, I'm going to use this metaphoric term, so many men got wet in the ass about it. They were elated. They were excited mm-hmm. about me saying that. They More men made comments than women mm-hmm. about it. And it made me think one thing. What other things are these men doing in the closet that they haven't yet admitted to? Mm-hmm. Y'all so excited about that. What other things are you men involving you se- yourselves in, engaging in? Mm-hmm. By any means. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> But <laughs> metaphoric and meaning. <laughs> we gonna get a big old bag of money by any means. I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say, but Tyler's my motherfucking boyfriend. Let's not move on from your meat. Let's talk about you in those gray sweatpants. I agree with it's you. It's like being in the bathroom. If a guy pisses on you, you owe me a hand job now. If I was to ever, you know, be getting raped by another man, yeah, yikes, I would offer him head. I don't respect these motherfuckers oh, stop, stop. who yeah, hit yeah, your yeah. head from niggas, yeah. but don't suck the dick back, niggas. Anybody could get their dick sucked. Start up. Charlemagne asks Malik Yoba, so are you gay? Malik Yoba turns around, he asks Charlemagne the same question. He says, Charlemagne, so what do you identify as? Are you gay? Charlemagne says, um, uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm straight. You think you straight? You think you straight? Now I know what that text from your boss was about. When he said he wanted to uh, suck your pee-pee. Me watching the, uh, this interview with Malik Yoba today on the Breakfast Club confused me all over again because I thought it was just that LGBTQP community. And this guy that's up there, he said the LGBTIP. I don't even know what the IP stand for, right? And then what he said was, when we are born, that the doctor is the one who states what we are. So he says the doctor is the one that makes us what we are. The doctor doesn't make us what we are as far as gender. Our sexual orgasm, org- organs, our organs make us what we are. So if you come out with a penis, you are a man. If you come out with a vagina, you are a woman. Like, I don't even understand that. And they they, they trying to com- confuse us even more now. We're too entertained, can't 
separate the real from the fake Women's self-esteem determined by their body and face Men not looking for love, they just been planting they seed And when the seeds start to grow is when they back up and leave Yeah, just let me die in silence I cannot say the word and I cannot stop the violence It's too much entertainment and they gone up the lane Ain't no more queens